Saturday morning, I'm taking the kids to Planet Football to play their football training. That's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about who gets it right when they come over here as an expat to retire once they finish their career back in their domestic country. And there's kind of a range of individuals. There's those that have worked all their life, very high level, senior guys, chased that rat race, worked hard and determined and been used to having a level of power and control that have got lots of money over here, buy big houses and seemingly they got the world at their feet. And then on the other end, you've got those that are motivated to come and live in Thailand, not because they've got lots of money, but because they struggled to make ends meet during their working life. They have not got uh, a plush pension and it's just more cost beneficial for them to come here and enjoy some of the lower costs than stay in their other country. And I have this hypothesis that started from a conversation that I had a few weeks ago with a work colleague in Scotland who was talking about this old, should be retiring individual who made millions and millions, working hard, self-disciplined, self-starter, done it from scratch. He has a disabled child and Ian said to him, why don't you retire? Spend time with your kid. And he said, Ian, I can't. I spent all of those years throughout my life instilling these disciplines but I can't change my behaviours and so he could not he could not stop working or continuing with these like disciplines even at the expense of spending quality time with his disabled child and uh, over here I get to meet different individuals with different budgets and I live in a condo it's a very good condo so you tend to find there's, there's good quality ex expats that own there and I'm also involved in some developments as well, which are high-end properties, and the people that live there have got lots of money. And what I find is these individuals relentlessly want to get involved, want to uh, have a say, be the leader. And uh, when I go to my AGM meeting in the condo I'm in, oh, it's like you're sitting in a boardroom with all these changes, they all want to be on the board, and yet you've got these other guys that have come over with no money, they don't care, because they're not used to being in that feeling of power. So what I'm trying to say is, the guys that have spent all their years making all their money to come over here and have an easy life, don't let themselves have an easy life, and have to get involved in everything, have to, uh, they can't let go of their past, and find it very difficult to ease off and do nothing. The guy I, with not much money, finds it very easy to ease off. I often look at my brother and, and me and we're, we're kind of there. I can't stop working. I work on the weekends, I go to bed thinking. Maybe I have to have a few beers in the evening to stop thinking. I'm writing notes. On the other hand, my brother will go out and have a good time and he can, can cut off. I earn more money, he earns less. Who has the best life? And that applies here. Who has the best life really as the retiree expat here in Thailand, if you can't let go. Four for today. Frank, wrap it up. Let's go to the football. See you next time, Dad and Bad Thailand. Exactly.